Now, nearly a week after Pakistani general elections ended inconclusively, we have a clear picture of the next government. Former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif led PMLN and Blavel Bhutto Zabdari's PPP have joined hands to form the government. Former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's younger brother, Shehbaz Sharif, will be leading the government as Prime Minister. The PPP will be supporting the government. Nawaz Sharif's daughter, Miriam Nawaz, meanwhile, has been nominated for the post of Chief Minister of the Punjab province. PMLN is the single largest party in the Punjab Assembly, but still short of a majority. A PPP-PMLN alliance under Shehbaz Sharif ousted former Prime Minister Imran Khan's government in April 2022, triggering a months-long political turmoil in the country. The conditions to join forces this time as well does not bode well for a stable or strong administration in the world's second largest Muslim country. The agreement on government formation has ended uncertainty for now after elections gave a split verdict, sparking worries of fresh instability. Sharif's PMLN emerged as the largest political party in the National Assembly elections held on February 8th. The Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz got 75 seats. The PPP came in second with 54. Additionally, the two parties will also get most of the 70 reserved seats which are allotted to parties based on their strength. These seats are reserved for women and non-Muslims. Jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan was not allowed to contest last week's elections. His Pakistan Tehriki and Saf party was stripped of its electoral symbol days ahead of the polls. Hence, his party candidates had to run as independents. Surprisingly, the independents, most of them backed by the PTI, won the largest share of seats in the National Assembly. Their tally stood at 91 of the 266 directly elected seats, where they are not eligible to form the government. The PTI has also ruled out any alliance with the PPP or PMLN. The PTI party has alleged that the vote was rigged and has vowed to legally challenge some results. Meanwhile, Imran Khan has warned against the misadventure of forming a government with what he called stolen votes. He added that such daylight robbery will not only be a disrespect to the citizens, but will also push the country's economy further into a downward spiral. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.